5,000 years ago, Kandak was a melting pot of cultures, wealth, power, and magic. Yet most of us had nothing, except for the chains around our necks. Kandak needed a hero. Instead, they got me. I did what needed to be done, and they imprisoned me for it. Now, 5,000 years later, I'm free, and I give you my word. No one will ever stop me again. I have a knack for destroying bullies, but there are some who think I need help. Hawkman. Dr. Fate. And their new recruits. Cyclone. And Adam Smasher. They call themselves the Justice Society. An organization that believes in fighting for truth and justice. Well, I'm going to teach them that the only beliefs I fight for are mine. Welcome to Truth, Justice, and the Black Adam Way. So, as you guys can see, we are cooking up something pretty badass and, and certainly a lot of fun that we are all excited about to deliver to you guys. Um, and I can't wait to show you more. You know, I always thought that it might be cool to hang out with Superman. And that would be cool, right? I mean, we're kind of similar in terms of our powers, our strengths, our speeds. Because look, at the end of the day, you never know. Black Adam and Superman could become friends. Or they won't. Who knows? Maybe we'll see. But before I go, I want you guys to help me out with something. It's something that's pretty important. I need you guys to help me get a message out to, uh, to some of the other ones. Some of the other DC superheroes. Let's let Flash Shazam, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Batman, and Superman. Let's let them know something. Things will never be the same because the hierarchy of power in the DC universe is about to change. Welcome back everyone. Do you smell what The Rock is cooking? So this is gonna be my new Black Adam trailer video. There were also a bunch of big casting announcements they just made in the past week about the movie. So we'll break it all down. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. We'll do a new Amazon giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and let me know when you wanna see them cross Black Adam over with the Justice League. Because that's basically what The Rock is telling us at the end of that trailer. I'll just go through the footage shot by shot, talk about the Easter eggs, and then I'll talk about the casting announcements when we get to those characters. So number five, the trailer footage obviously just shows you what his costume is going to look like during the actual movie. And even though he has the same powers as the Shazamly, the footage gives you a good idea for how they'll tune them to look a little bit more hardcore than what you saw in the Shazam movie. But the trailer itself is him basically narrating his origin story and them telling you what the plot of the Black Adam movie is going to be. They're basically giving you the entire plot right here without giving away too many big spoilers. That intro scene where the camera is winding through where he's saying, I've waited a long time for this. These ancient hallways are basically inside the tomb where he was trapped for thousands of years by the wizard Shazam. He was trapped by the wizard Shazam. You actually see him narrate that part of the trailer after he released the seven deadly sins. That scene itself was referencing the other Black Adam scene that we saw during the Shazam movie at the beginning where he's explaining to Billy who Black Adam was without saying in so many words. They're changing his backstory a little from the comics. He's starting out as a slave in Kondok, forced to help build their monuments, which itself sort of borrows from real world history. A lot of the great pyramids and Egyptian monuments from thousands of years ago were built using slave labor. Number four, most of you probably picked up on the Easter eggs during his voiceover backstory there, but when he talks about having problems with bullies and it looks like the slavers are beating him, he talks about how people needed a hero, but they got him instead. That's them doing the exact same origin story moment as Billy Batson got in the Shazam movie with a very dark twist. Billy sees Freddy getting picked on by bullies. He attacks them because he hates bullies. Then the wizard Shazam detects that he has great potential to be the hero that he needs and grants him his powers. 
It's the exact same thing that's happening to Black Adam in the trailer here. Slaver's bullying everyone in Kondok, then Black Adam beats them within an inch of their life, way more hardcore than Billy against those bullies in the Shazam movie, obviously. The Council of Wizards, which are all still alive during this period in history, see his potential to be the hero that they need in this area, grant him the powers of Shazam, but the darkness within him is just too great. He's too hardcore. When he says he did what needed to be done, then they imprisoned me for it, he's talking about releasing the seven deadly sins. Based on the other footage in the trailer, he's saying that he saw the problems in Kondok is so great and systemic that the only way to fix the area was to cleanse it with a biblical level event, the seven deadly sins. And obviously the Council of Wizards is like, hell no, that is way worse. You're crazy, we're gonna lock you in this magical prison for all time because you're too powerful to let you roam free. The way they explain that during the Shazam movie is that the seven deadly sins themselves were the ones that killed the other members of the Council of Wizards. In the comics, it was Black Adam that killed the Council. They probably just changed that to make him seem a little less irredeemable because he's supposed to be an anti-hero in this movie. So think of the end of the Man of Steel movie where Superman snapped Zod's neck, more of that kind of action. So Superman wasn't completely irredeemable, but he did wind up killing someone. So obviously that's going to be a little bit more of Black Adam's energy during the Black Adam movie. Number three, a lot of you saw this purple gem next to him in the trailer when he talks about being imprisoned and thought that it might be an Eclipso Easter egg. You could think of it that way, but it's just meant to be the magical prison that they trapped him in for thousands of years. The gem that Eclipso is trapped in is called the Heart of Darkness. It's also a purple gem, so you could think of it as a reference to that, but I don't think they have big plans for Eclipso in the Black Adam movie. Then he escapes 5,000 years later in present day. You can see all the old monuments that he was forced to help build have crumbled since then. Then he busts into the palace in this scene and kills whoever this warlord is that's controlling the area and takes the throne from him. In the comics, he eventually takes control of Kondok and rules over it with an iron fist. So they're just saying that's what he's going to be doing by the end of the movie. But then in present day, as you see him cleaning out the trash in the area, all these different warlords and terrorists, he basically says the Justice Society, including Hawkman and Dr. Fate, get involved trying to stop him from killing a bunch of people. So number two, obvious question a lot of you are asking, where's the Justice League in all this? Why aren't they helping out? Because this is supposed to take place after the events of the Justice League movie or the Justice League Snyder Cut, however you want to think about it. My assumption is the reason the Justice Society moves to stop him instead of the Justice League is because Hawkman would have some previous knowledge of him from one of his past lives and Dr. Fate would know all about him because Naboo is ancient and predates Black Adam. So they both would have been around for the period when he was first unleashing the seven deadly sins and just remembered that in present day. It sounds like when the movie picks up in present day though, per the trailer, the Justice Society as it existed previously had been fractured and they pick up Adam Smasher and Cyclone along the way to rebuild a new version of the team. They'll probably explain what happened to the original Justice Society and why we're only hearing about them now. I think a lot of that continuity they'll fix with the Flash Flashpoint movie. That's part of the idea too, is it sort of weaving in the other new characters like Shazam and Black Adam. Just a couple of days ago, The Rock confirmed that they cast Aldous Hodge as their Hawkman. He also said that they did have a Hawk Girl in the movie at one point, but had to take her out. When people asked him what happened to Hawk Girl, The Rock said, ha ha, that's a story for another time. So hopefully he'll spill the tea on what happened to Hawk Girl. But it sounds like per this trailer footage, they team up with Black Adam to defeat an even worse villain in the area. They haven't confirmed who that's going to be yet, maybe Felix Faust or some other big magic based villain. It just has to be somebody who's more terrible than Black Adam to make him seem like more of an anti-hero. Then obviously number one WTF, Black Adam versus the Justice League. The Rock directly calls out all the members of the Justice League in that trailer, Superman in particular, but I think that's him implying that Henry Cavill will cameo during the Black Adam movie at some point. The Rock has been teasing Black Adam versus Superman for a long time now, but it sounds like most of the movie is Justice Society crossover with Black Adam, not Justice League. That's going to be for a future movie. Because Zachary Levi did say that when they introduced his character in the Shazam movie, the idea was is that he would join the next version of the Justice League when they do eventually make a Justice League movie. So I think that just confirms that eventually they will do Black Adam versus the Justice League down the road. But let me know in the comments, what do you think about the Black Adam movie so far? What are you most hyped up about? I know everybody just wants to see him go off against all the different members of the Justice League, especially after we're getting the Justice League Snyder Cut. There's going to be a ton of Justice League stuff happening next year. It'll be crazy. Really great Justice League parody, The Boys is actually airing episodes right now. Episode 7 is going to be dropping this Friday. I'm doing videos for it. As long as you have alerts enabled for my channel, you should see those videos when I post it. 
But everyone, click here to learn about the brand new Justice League Snyder Cut scenes that Zack Snyder is going to be filming with Batman and Ben Affleck. And click here for the Boys Season 2 Episode 6 video. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe. I'll see you guys tonight.